morning, Bay City High School. I'm Precious. And I'm Pedro. Today's Wednesday, May 12th, and it's National, National School, School Nurse, Nurse Day. Day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the Texas Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. All students will need to have their Chromebook and Chromebook charger. All Chromebooks will need to be turned on when we check them in so we can make sure they are not damaged. Students will need to return hotspot and hotspot chargers on this day too. The hotspots were checked out to the oldest student enrolled in BCISD, so that means most of our students have one. The check-in process will be time consuming, so please be patient. Teachers, you will need to escort your classes to the library on the day listed. Please start telling your students now so they can find the hotspot, hotspot charger, Chromebook, and Chromebook charger. Please remind them that all items will be expected upon check-in and damage fees will be applied if needed. Also, students, if you already have a damage screen, that needs to be paid by the end of this school year. All WCJC laptops will also need to be returned May 14th. To anyone wanting to run cross-country next year, there will be a meeting today at 345 in the Black Hat Room. Please join the group using the Sport You code shown here before the meeting. If you cannot make today's meeting, please see Coach Sanders in B230 at any time. And if you enjoy singing and want to be a part of an award-winning group, then Bella Oche is the place for you. We are beginning the audition process now. Come by the choir room, D122, to pick up a packet and set up an audition time with Dr. Coward. All auditions must happen by May 14th, and they will be scheduled on an individual basis. The last blood drive of the year will be tomorrow from 8 to 2 p.m. in the donor coach outside of the band hall. Anyone is welcome, including staff, students, 16 and older, and community members. This blood drive will be in honoring Sierra Rodriguez, a fellow student who is currently battling leukemia. Also remember that if you are a senior and would like an honor cord, you must have donated twice your senior year or have four adults total, non-staff members, to donate in your place. For any questions, please see Ms. Gilbert in room A229. And our SAT word of the day brought to you by AVID is punchin, meaning a pointed tool for piercing, used in goldsmith work. The goldsmith used a punchin to form an intricate pattern in the ring band. Well, that's it for today, Black Cats. Make sure you tune in every day during fifth period homeroom. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back tomorrow. Have a wacky Wednesday. Or not. The choice is yours. This is Pedro. And I'm Precious. And don't forget, it's, it's a, a great day to be a black cat. cat. Welcome back to College Spotlight. This week we are checking out the University of Incarnate Word. The University of Incarnate Word is a private Catholic university whose main campus is located in San Antonio and Alamo Heights. Founded in 1881 by the Sisters of Charity of the Incarnate Word, with a total of 5,368 students attending the university, with an acceptance rate of 93.8% and a graduation rate of 51.46%. If you are looking to attend UIW, then you need a GPA of 3.17 with an SAT of 1160 or an ACT of 17 to 23. The tuition is on average 32,576 per year. And now for the facts. The major fields of study at UIW are Business Administration and Management, Nursing, Health Sciences and Services, General Biology, Human Resource Management. You can also get minors in Business Administration, Criminal Justice, Healthcare Management, Human Resource Management, and Psychology. Not only that, but you can get a Master's Degree in Teacher Education, Biomedical Sciences, and many more. More facts that they are the largest Catholic university in Texas, they have 11 schools and colleges, including five health profession schools. They have three NCAA Division I sports teams. They are also ranked first in faith-based university, conferring bachelor's degrees to Hispanics. And they have given over $150 million in financial aid annually to UIW students. And as always, if you ever need help finding the college that suits you or applying for scholarships, stop by Ms. Lopez's office in Student Services. Remember seniors, college doesn't link away, so apply now. <laughs>